Hey, it's Fred Hassan with Sit Mean Sit Dog Training and our video for the day. Today Ashton's going to show us how he teaches his dog to weave through his legs, his puppy, with a broom. So, how old is this dog there, Mr. Ashton? He just turned 12 weeks old. All right, so so why uh, a why a broom? How come you're not like using food or? Because the broom is his favorite toy in the world. He loves that broom. Yeah. Anything to get a broom in his mouth. All right, so what else would you when you see a dog that that's got something like this? That uh, how did you find out that he likes his broom so much? I guess you were sweeping he or something one day. House and, and he went to town on it, and I think I need another broom to get him to drop this one. <laughs> So now that you see this, this, um, this broom just happens to be an object that he likes, and you found this out by mistake, or by accident, I should say. So now, what are all the different things you're going to be able to do with this broom to, it, while he's young? It becomes, a, it, becomes a, whoops, it becomes a focal point for him, so he, he, he's going to focus on the broom to try and get it in his mouth. And that allows me to do a lot of things. I can position him anywhere around my body. I can use it as a lure to pull him through my legs. And uh, he gets a little frustrated at times. So it's just a matter of, of, you know, with puppies imprinting a lot of obedience behaviors, for later in life we can mark him and put a command to it. So what about, like, now he's, he's, he's just a baby. He's 12 weeks old. So he's outside. He's outside in the back, maybe going to the bathroom or something. Do you, uh, do you pull the broom out to call him to you? I can. Yeah, he's, so far he's been pretty good about, you know, just with a little bit of noise if I say his name and I crouch down, he'll come running to me. I've got to watch him, he'll really grab this broom without me watching, realizing it. He'll usually come to me pretty good, but the broom adds that extra zip, it adds that extra energy and, and just helps things become a lot faster because he's got, uh, as you put it, high bristle drive. He has the bristles. So I can get him jumping on stuff, get him accustomed to climbing. His first experience with the stairs was yesterday and, um, oh, there you go, good boy. And he was a little hesitant on the stairs, and so we're going to try it again later tonight, and we're going to get the broom out and see if we can build his confidence on the stairs by playing broom. Come on, buddy, let's go this way. There you go, very good. You can also use it to get him in his kennel pretty easily, so we're going to start developing a word association with the kennel because he's familiar with going in and out of the kennel, but the broom allows me to kind of direct him that way. There you go. So we got him going under the chair. Let's see, get him back up on the chair with that broom again. So it's, so it's a magic broom, I guess. It is a magic broom. <laughs> you can buy these at sitmeansit.com. We have an online store. <laughs> it's not so much the toys, it is what you make it. So I guess the moral of the story is uh, kind of keep your eyes open to whatever your puppy likes and you use it. You an opportunist when it comes to dogs because you never really know what's going to fascinate one dog. It could be a bore to another one. All right. Very good. So until tomorrow, sit means sit. <laughs>